Hi, this is Adam with ADI, and today I wanted to introduce you to our investigation proposals, one of our scaffolds or tools we use for stage two during our investigations to help make student thinking more visible. Let's take a closer look at our three hypothesis investigation proposal. At the top, there's a place for the guiding question, followed by the three hypotheses or three possible answers to the guiding question. The students will then design a test, including the list of procedures, answering questions like what data will you collect and how will you analyze the data. And then there's a place for their predicted results if the given hypothesis is found to be valid. And at the bottom is a place for you to sign off and improve this investigation. This student sample investigation proposal is for the lab on the effects of mass on free fall time. Mass can really only have three possible effects on the amount of time it takes to free fall. The first is that if mass increases, then the time it takes to fall will also increase. If mass increases, the time it takes to fall could decrease, and mass could have no impact on the time it takes to free fall. When looking at students' procedures, it's definitely okay to let small errors go. The diversity in methods is an essential part of the ADI approach. So here a student has three basic procedures for dropping the beanbags, and they've thought about what data they will collect and how they will analyze that data. And here the student has made a predicted graph of what the data should or can look like if the, each hypothesis is found to be valid. Definitely my favorite part of the investigation proposal, as we know how important it is for students to predict in science class. We also have investigation proposals for descriptive studies. In this case, students will list the guiding question, they'll answer what data will you collect, they'll answer how will you collect your data, and they'll also answer how will you analyze your data. And again, at the bottom, you have a place to sign off to approve this investigation. Thanks for watching. Hope you feel more confident using investigation proposals in your ADI investigations. And as always, don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.